Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna do another Dyna test of the subwoofer and in today's video we're gonna do the most budget subwoofer that we have. It is Machete Light 12S. So it's pretty basic subwoofer that has a 175 coil, 300 watt RMS power and there's only one difference between previous test and this one. In this test I'm not gonna allow to survive this subwoofer so I'm gonna burn it. Anyway if it's gonna um, if it's gonna hold RMS power over the five minutes. Uh, my plan is add the power more and more, unless it's gonna be burned. So uh, I think that's gonna be pretty cool to see not how it's hold the power and also how it's burned. Um, I hope it's gonna be a lot of smoke. So, and about our measurement system, it's pretty much the same as we did on the previous video. Uh, 20K amplifier, SPL lab measurement system, 700 uh, ampere hours lithium uh, right behind the wall, the back wall. So we know the 700 has been removed because it's absolutely not needed for that kind of test. And the whole information about the load, the power and everything will be available on our screen. So together with that, I'm gonna make the screen recorder and put those pictures right on um, on the main screen to make sure it's gonna be clearly uh, seeable. So uh, also, where's my heat gun actually? Oh, I have no idea. So also, uh, we're gonna try to measure the temperature of the coil, but there's only one difference between 4512 and this subwoofer uh, is the way how the basket looks like. So there's a little hose, and I think I'm not gonna be able to shut straight to the, um, to the coil but I'll do my best. And together with that, of course, I'm gonna measure the coin and the magnet. We'll see what's the <clears throat> maximum temperature this subwoofer can hold. So uh, I think it's time to start. I think it's time to start.
let's wait 50 more seconds and do something bad. So there's absolutely no chance to survive for this subwoofer today. And in the 30 seconds, we are gonna add some more power. After 5 minute run, let's do 400, 450. Alright, let's do something harder. 525. All right, guys, so the sub has been killed, and now let's open up and see what actually inside and what was happening. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> yeah, the coil <laughs> didn't survive. <laughs> yeah, it is still smoky. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah. <sighs> yep. So that's all um, pretty much about our one of the most budget subs, so it's only 70 bucks and you can see it has been survived all right after uh, the RMS test run for five minutes. Then we add um, up to, I believe, 450 watts for another minute. Then we put uh, like over 500 watts in there and it still was living for a little bit. So yeah, that's the answer. Of course, all our subs has been holding the RMS power so we already did 4512R, so brand new and the most heaviest subwoofer that we have. Uh, we already have that video on the YouTube. And now we did another test of our, the most budget one, uh, Machete Lite. Um, so I think that there's no more comments. So that's great test and great performance. So thank you for watching this video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.